Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot. Here to do a random reading for July 31st. Last day in July. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared my channel. You guys rock. And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all that info is in the box below. If you'd like to learn tarot, I do have five videos plus a bonus video. They are $20 a piece, so you can learn at your own pace. If you're interested, give me a shout. So let's see what's uh, crack a lacking for the 31st of July. Ooh. Oh. Okay. This one came out first. You have the Seven of Wands. Somebody defending themselves. They feel like they're on higher ground so they can back up what they say can the other Six Wands. And then you have the Page of Swords. A communication comes in. Now, this could be a an immature communication, a communication, a communication that comes in from somebody who's acting immature, that says something immature, and somebody's just, you know, not having it. It could be something that, you know, comes in, this person's, you know, like, I'm not going to believe that. I don't be bringing that kind of talk here. This came out face down. Ooh. You get the Aquarius card of the star, but in reverse. A wish that's not been fulfilled. Not yet. Something's on hold. But it's still a card to let you know that your guides are with you. And the universe hears you. It's like something needs to be done first before something can be granted. But it was face down. See if it comes back out. Somebody could be defending themselves from gossip. Mm, okay. These wanted to come out. We have the Two of Pentacles, the juggling act. Pro in conning something. Then you have the Queen of Cups. This could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or somebody who takes on these properties. Somebody who is, you know, very intuitive. Keeping their emotions balanced. Then, you have the Justice card. It could be a Libra. It could be karmic justice if it's not something in the court system. Something gets rectified, something gets justified, something gets made fair. Not interesting. So somebody might have heard something, possibly from a water sign, that either they don't like, it's not true, or they have to defend themselves, or they're pro and conning. Is it true? Is it not true? Do I believe it? What's the fair thing to do? Do they back this person up or do they stand alone? They could be contemplating, you know, if somebody told them something, some sort of communication, if it's true or not. They haven't made up their mind yet. Oh, we got two. So now we have Temperance, Sagittarius card, of being balanced, head, heart, hope, fear, subconscious, conscious, getting them all on the same page, being balanced. It's also a card of patience. Somebody could be Losing patience, maybe always defending themselves. We have the chariot, the cancer card. But moving forward with victory and success. You get that victory and success if the two sphinxes work together. Again, head, heart, hope, fear, subconscious, conscious. Rain those two in when your head and heart are on the same page. You get success in moving forward. And that's right under the page of swords. So maybe somebody is trying to get something moving forward and someone's just holding back. And they're wondering what's the right thing to do. What's the fair thing to do? Maybe 
Maybe somebody wants to stay stuck and they're staying their ground there and someone's trying to move them forward. Move beyond this barrier line hmm, that they've created. Good shove. Just came to my mind. Hmm. Get the hanged man. Seeing something in a different perspective. Right under the juggling act. Maybe somebody needs to see something in perspective. Instead of wondering if it's true or not. Maybe they wouldn't be so defensive. Oop, now these two cards came face down. So we have the four of pentacles, but in reverse. Now, in the upright, this is like the miser card holding back. Could be not speaking, not sharing. But in the reverse, it's letting it go. They've held back something so long, and now it's time to release it. And then you have the four of cups in reverse. Now, this could be a boredom card. I think the universe is trying to offer somebody something here and they just don't see it because they're too focused on the three cups. But in reverse, maybe they see it. Maybe they see something in a different light and they see it's an offering. See if they come back out. Ooh, ooh. So we have the strength card, the Leo card, in reverse. Now, this is having the strength, having the guts, you know, to persevere through anything. In the reverse, it's not having the strength to maybe deal with somebody who's always on the defense, trying to convince them they're losing the oomph to deal with this. Or this person who's so defensive could make somebody weak. When they're trying hard to move them forward. Hmm. Maybe somebody just can't get through somebody's defenses here. No matter what they communicate. Hmm. And now we have the two of wands. See, taking that brand new course of action... And opening up those brand new avenues and doors. This guy has this new wand in his hand. The other wand is in the concrete. Old ways of doing things, old methods. But doing something brand new and like crisp. And those brand new things puts the, you know, the world in his hand where anything is possible. Right under the justice card. Bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Here's the universe giving somebody an opportunity to see if they take it or not. To have the see, hear, taste, touch, prove things. To have the things that have worth and value to them. Brand new opportunity. Somebody needs to seize it. Somebody here sees it and somebody doesn't want to accept it, I believe. So, let's get into it. You get somebody on the D. They feel like they're right where, where they're standing. Very defensive. And could be very defensive or on the guard because a communication comes in. And now it's got somebody thinking. Pro and conning. Is it true? What do I do? Could be with a water-like person. Somebody who's trying to keep their emotions balanced, using their intuition, because they want something to be fair, either for both of them or for this other person. This could be a friend trying to enlighten somebody, because it's the right thing to do. And 
Somebody either needs to have patience and get their head and heart on the same page. Or somebody is running out of it. Somebody needs it or it's getting used up. And then you have the chariot. Moving forward with victory and success. And it goes nicely with the temperance card. You know, balance is needed here. Patience is needed here. Communications can't be hard and brash because the whole point, I think, is to get somebody to see something in a different light, a different point of view, a different perspective. But this person is running out of the strength to let somebody know. They're trying to keep their emotions intact. They're trying not to be, you know, harsh or abrupt. Because this person sees something on the horizon, sees something great for either both of them. I want to say both because there's two ones there. Because there's so much potential in something. Like I said, one person doesn't see it. So let's break it down, folks. Somebody needs to be patient with somebody who is very defensive. They want to tell them that there is great success and victory moving forward. This person is not sure of it. Won't be sure until he sees it from a different point of view. And this person has been trying to lighten this person, I think, for a long time. And they're, just, they're running out of the steam, the oomph, or the patience to try to tell this person. That the right thing to do is open up your possibilities. Open up the avenues. Because there are great things on the horizon. Hmm. So, that's what I have for you folks. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing to my channel. I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.